Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. Pressure is intensifying on Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan to bring to justice the terror group Boko Haram. Residents and officials in northeastern Nigeria say suspected members of the militant organization have killed at least 32 people and kidnapped more than 100 others in a raid Sunday on the village of Gimsuri. News of the attack took several days to surface because the area's mobile phone network was damaged in earlier attacks. Boko Haram has waged a five-year terror campaign against Nigeria in an effort to turn the northeastern region into an Islamic state. The group has killed thousands of people during the time and abducted many hundreds more, raising questions about the ability of the nation's security forces to protect its citizens. Although no one has claimed responsibility for this latest attack, it, ha it bore all the hallmarks of past Boko Haram assaults. Well, meanwhile, in Abuja, a Nigerian court martial has sentenced 54 soldiers to death for refusing to fight Boko Haram. Nigerian troops have complained they have insufficient firepower and supplies to fight Boko Haram in its northeastern stronghold. 